framing the Museum of Science and Industries collection is quite an unassuming object. It's only about two foot tall, it's made of wood and it's dwarfed by some of the huge textile spinning machines that we have um, that work in our daily demonstrations. Uh, but even though it's small, it's still one of the gallery's most precious objects. Since the early decades of the 18th century, uh, people had been looking for ways to meet the increasing demand uh, for cotton cloth uh, and lots of different people have been tinker tinkering away in their workshops um, trying to build uh, a machine that could make um, spin more yarn more quickly. In 1767 a breakthrough came when Richard Arkwright, working with a skilled clockmaker, devised the first successful spinning frame powered by a water wheel. The water frame replaced the work that was normally done by human fingers four sets of moving rollers drew out the thread before a spindle twisted it to make yarn uh, and it could be supervised by an unskilled worker. All they had to do was uh, keep the machine loaded uh, with cotton, re replace the full bobbins with empty ones uh, and piece together any threads that broke. Uh, so it revolutionised the way that cotton could be spun and it meant that it could be transferred from work that was done in the home uh, to work that was done in huge factories uh, where hundreds of workers gathered together and worked in time with the machines. Well, Richard Arkwright actually chose Manchester as the first place to experiment with using steam power uh, to power the machinery and he set up the first steam powered mill uh, right here in Manchester in Shude Hill. Uh, initially he didn't actually manage to get the steam engine to directly power the machines, he used it to pump the water that then powered his water frames but after a couple of years uh, steam was successfully powering the machines and the thing about Arkwright is people took note of him, lots of people wrote about him, um, many people knew his name so he popularised the idea that you could make lots of money um, from this business of spinning cotton. So although the, although the water frame was quickly replaced by newer and better technology the water frame proved that there was a new way of manufacturing uh, that could be done in factories by employing hundreds of workers and so in that way it was a spark that began a kind of transformative effect of industrialisation.